Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, we're gonna be speaking about sweet fragrances. Tooth rotting sweet, cavity inducing sweet, 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 okay? So if you love sweet fragrances, you are going to love this list. But before we get into the list, I need to get something off my chest. Now, what kills me is that I'll read some comments or maybe watch someone's video and they're like, I don't do sweet fragrances. I don't wear sweet fragrances. I don't like sweet fragrances. And that's all well and good because everything ain't for everybody, okay? We know that. But it's when it's come across as if sweet fragrances are juvenile or not sexy or just not, you know, just not that girl. Like that girl only wears woody fragrances or super masculine fragrances no sweet fragrances are what's up okay men love sweet fragrances people are attracted to sweet fragrances sweet fragrances get compliments not that we're wearing them for the compliments but i'm just saying sweet fragrances are what's it okay now a lot of people don't even realize that they love sweet fragrances like they'll say I don't wear sweet fragrances, I don't love sweet fragrances, but then every fragrance in their collection that they're talking about or that they love or that they wear are sweet fragrances. It's all good, come, come on, C come on over to the dark side, okay? Come on over to the sweet dark side. It is okay to love sweet fragrances. It doesn't mean you're not as sexy. It doesn't mean you're not as grown. It doesn't mean you're juvenile. It doesn't mean that. It just means that you love to smell sweet. Okay, so we're gonna speak about some sweet fragrances today. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. Okay, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure you thumbs up the video so YouTube knows you love my content and leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. Now, before we get into the fragrances, can we get a little commotion for the earring? I mean, is the earring not earring-ing? <laughs> Y'all, when I tell you, I'm obsessed. Obs obsessed, okay? This is freaking gorge g gorgeous. Leave me some blue hearts if you think this is gorgeous. If y'all like this and y'all are interested in this earring, leave me some blue hearts down below and I can get this earring out to you, okay? Because the world needs to wear this. Like, this is so freaking amazing. Like I said, I'm obsessed. Let me come a little closer. Can y'all see the sparkle and the sh Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. But anyway, so we just gonna jump right in and talk about one of the most sweet fragrances on this whole entire list. And it's by Kayali and it's Vanilla 28. I mean, if you love vanilla fragrances, it really doesn't get much sweeter than this right here, okay? This is a beautiful, sweet vanilla extract type of scent like if you guys cook or you guys bake and you've smelt the scent of vanilla extract imagine vanilla extract with a ton and i mean a ton of brown sugar and some musk omg this right here i know a lot of you guys do not love kaali fragrances I, like i i know i get it. it it is what it is but if you love sweet fragrances you cannot, and when I tell you, you cannot go wrong with Vanilla 28. This right here is the master layerer, okay? If you wanna layer unisex fragrances or your non-feminine um, non fragrances, you layer some Vanilla 28 with that bad boy and get your life. Vanilla 28 is coming in like, don't worry sis, I got you. I'm gonna make you sweet, all right? Like, I'm gonna sweeten it up for you. I'm gonna get rid of some of that dirty patchouli. I'm gonna get rid of some of that woody, oody scent, that resinous scent. I'm gonna get rid of all of that and give you some sweet. So if you want some sweet vanilla in your life, this one right here, you can't go wrong. I'm obsessed, okay? This one has vanilla orchid. There's jasmine, brown sugar, tonka bean, amber, amber wood, musk, and patchouli. It's a sweet super sweet musky vanilla scent that i feel like if you love vanilla if you love sweet you will be absolutely obsessed okay wear it on its own layer it with other fragrances just get your life all right vanilla 28 by kayali 
Next on the list by Givenchy, we have Irresistible. Y'all, this is a beautiful, sweet, fruity, musky, slightly powdery, very, very feminine fragrance. Okay, super sexy, super sweet. If you love that juicy, bright, mouth-watering pear, if you love a pear note, you will love this. But this dries down musky, it's a little powdery, it lasts forever on my skin. This is the intense, okay? Because there is an original version, but for me, it's all about the intense, okay? It's very, very sweet. It's very potent, it's juicy, it's bright, it's musky, it's powdery. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. So this opens up with pear, then there's musk, there's rose, iris, musk again, and cedar in the base. You don't hear a lot of people speaking about this fragrance. It's a designer scent. Y'all know I love designer fragrances. I'm not too good. I'm not too bougie. I love my designer fragrances, although I love my niche fragrances. I don't really have a particular type. Like if you look at my collection, it is literally all over the place. I mean, I have a whole biradal section because I love those clean, powdery, clean, like biradal DNA type fragrances. I have lots of woody resinous fragrances spicy i'm all over the place in my collection i just love it all i just love to smell good okay so if you can make me smell good and make me feel sexy and give me the compliments and you know just go along with the outfit and you understand your assignment i'm going to wear you period okay so like i said a designer fragrance not many people talk about it but if you love sweet fragrances if you love musky fragrances juicy sweet juicy pear i love pear notes and fragrances y'all it is so beautiful especially in the spring and the summer i gravitate to fragrances like that this is newer to my collection i got this sometime last year like towards the end of the season so my dent isn't significant like that because i haven't had that much experience with the fragrance but it's there the dent is there but i'm definitely going to get my life with this fragrance this year because it smells amazing I love it, it's sweet, it's musky, it's powdery, and I mean, it's simple, but it smells really, really pretty. So if you love sweet, you'll love this. Givenchy, irresistible. Next up by Valentino, we have Donna Born in Roma, the original, the Don Dada, the queen. I love this fragrance, all right? Like, the dent is denting. As y'all can see, this fragrance is everything. It is super sweet. If you love vanilla, it's like a, it kind of smells boozy to me. It has like a boozy vanilla, fruity like syrupy type scent like i love this i will drown myself in this drench me in valentino donna born in roma i've been loving this fragrance since 2019 or something like that the girls are getting on to it it is much better in my opinion than the flanker the um the intense version or extra whatever they want to call it to me it is much better i wanted that version to be the intense version of this even sweeter even more decadent even more vanilla like i wanted it to be like that but it wasn't it fell very short in my opinion but this one right here is everything so this one we have black currant there's bergamot essence there's jasmine bourbon vanilla wood essence this smells a little boozy to me it has like some type of a boozy note but not like a cognac or anything like that i'm not sure how to describe it but oh y'all let me tell y'all go on ahead and get this if you love sweet fragrances you need valentino donna born in roma the original okay very sweet compliment getting sexy it can be worn on a date night i absolutely love this valentino donna born in roma I promise y'all we have some niche fragrances on this list. But the next fragrance is C Intense. Y'all know I love this fragrance. When the Intense came out, I smelled it. I got it. It was a love at first sniff. It's so super sweet. It's so beast mode. It's so powerful. It's such a compliment getter. Men love this fragrance. Women love this fragrance. Like I said, it is so sweet, okay? It's like a sexy date night fragrance. You can wear this in the fall, in the winter. Now, on a super, super hot day, I've never worn it in the summertime. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I have the original. It's back there somewhere. That one to me is more spring, summer appropriate because it has like a green, I'm not sure if there's a green note in there, but it has a green nature to it where it makes it more fresher to me, in my opinion. This one is just like syrupy sweet. Okay, like if you love sweet, 
you will love this. This one opens up with black currant syrup, okay? Like syrup. It has Turkish rose, divana, benzoin, and patchouli. And let me tell y'all, it's not a dirty, earthy, dry down because of the patchouli in the base, okay? Do not let that patchouli scare you. It is not that type of a patchouli. I feel like I smell the patchouli more in the original than this one right here. This one is super sweet, super long lasting, highly complimented. Bay loves this on me. I love it on me. I get complimented when I wear it. It has great performance, okay? This one right here does not fall short in the performance um, area. I wanna say my original, I get about five to six hours with that fragrance. It's not poor, but it's not exceptional. I feel like this right here is exceptional, okay? Sea Intense by Armani. All right, y'all know how I speak about Cavort a lot on this channel because I love that fragrance. But when I tell you, I love all of my fragrance Dubois fragrances because this is Oud Joan Intense and I'm obsessed, okay? This fragrance has a lot of fruity notes. It has pineapple, it has tiare flower, it has oud in the base. But when I tell you, it is not a super sharp, loud oud. If you don't like smelling oud, I feel like you'll still love this fragrance. To me, it is a safe line by. It just smells, it kind of smells tropical, but still like sexy, but you can wear it all year round but fruity and sweet, but like a grown up, super grown and sexy sweet. Let me show y'all my dent. Like this fragrance, I love it a lot, okay? Like you see my little dent in there. It's super powerful, super potent. It is a loud scent on me. That's my experience. A lot of fragrance Dubois fragrances in my collection aren't super loud in beast mode, but for the ones that are, trust me, this is super potent. This is like an intense, like, very sharp like in your face you smell the pineapple you smell fruity notes this is beautiful okay i feel like it's a safe blind buy you can save 20 percent on soavantgarde.com using my discount code the great 20. now although it's a safe blind buy in my opinion because it's not masculine or unisex to me i feel like it's a feminine scent it's a sweet feminine scent but it still has that fragrance dubois dna which how can i say like when you think of a sweet fruity pineapple, it's not like a juicy, watery, like um, fresh pineapple. It's more of a super ripe pineapple when it's gotten really dark and maybe you don't wanna eat it. You know what I mean? Like it's a little bit too, it's too ripe. And you see how the juice is? Like that yellow kind of color. That's what it reminds me of. That deep, golden, way too ripe pineapple, but it's super, super sweet. That's when it's at its sweetest. That's what this fragrance reminds me of. You can wear this all year round. You can wear it on vacation because it has like a tropical kind of feel to it. Like I think it has tiara flower in this fragrance as well. It's super beautiful, y'all. Super sweet, super potent, very grown and sexy, very bougie, very sophisticated, like not juvenile sweet at all. It is incredible. Ooh, Joan Intense by Fragrance Dubois. Next up by Moschino, we have Toy 2 Bubblegum, y'all. This fragrance is not for everybody, okay? Because it smells like bubblegum. I'm obsessed with this scent. When I tell you, this is so freaking addictive. It's playful. It's happy. It is young smelling. You know what I mean? Like, it smells like bubblegum. But it dries down to a super sweet, fruity fragrance. It has strawberries and red berries and all types of berries. It's so sweet and fruity. If you love fruity scents, like mouth-watering fruity scents, you will love this. But like I said, it opens up smelling like a bubblegum. But let me tell y'all, layer this with Oriana by Parfums de Marly and get to your whole entire life, all right? Parfums de Marly Oriana has that citrusy, like tangerine, raspberry, creamy, whipped cream, and you add this to it, Y'all, I did a video last year, I'm not gonna link it, but I did a video last year sometime showing a combination, a layering combination with like, I think I did like a raspberry uh, body shower routine. And then I had um, my bubblegum body spray from Bath and Body Works, which is no longer around. No, not Bath and Body, yeah, Bath, cause I get it confused with the body shop, but yeah, Bath and Body Works, which is no longer around. And then this, and then Oriana. And when I tell you, I was living in my scent bubble. This right here, it doesn't last super long, but you can layer it if you want that sweet, juicy, mouth-watering scent with any of your fragrances, especially like your sweet, fruity fragrances. 
you need this. Like, I'm telling you, even though the bottle is like so like non-sophisticated and it's like kind of kitschy and whatever, I love it so much, okay? I will always have this in my collection. The bottle is cute to me. She's juicy, she's fruity, like I love it. Toy 2 Bubblegum by Moschino. Next up by Tiziana Terenzi, we have Cassiopeia. And I told y'all before, if you do not like that musky, resinous, dried down of Tiziana Terenzi fragrances, because it's in the DNA of a lot of Tiziana Terenzi fragrances, I happen to love it. But if you don't, I feel like Cassiopeia is safe for you because it just smells like a green Jolly Rancher. I've been telling y'all this since day one. This fragrance is my green Jolly Rancher. It's very mouthwatering. Whenever I spray it, I get that feeling, that sensation right here, like right here when you just like feel it behind your ear. That is what I get when I spray this fragrance because it just smells like candy. Like it smells like a sweet, sour candy. It is amazing. Let me tell y'all, spring and summer, who's really smelling better than you when you're wearing Cassiopeia? I'm trying to figure it out. Like, listen, this lasts forever on your skin. It's a beast mode, loud fragrance, but it's not offensive, all right? Because this has like more softer notes but everybody is gonna smell you. People will definitely compliment you on your scent. It's sweet and juicy. It has like a little powderiness to it to me in the dry down as well, but it's very juicy, very bright, very uplifting, very happy. If you love sweet fruity fragrances, you need this. And you can save 20% on SoAvantGarde.com using my discount code, thegreat 20 and get you some Cassiopeia. Another super sweet Tiziana Terenzi fragrance is Deluxe. Y'all, this is honey. This is rose, but it's a sweet jammy rose, although there's no fruits in this fragrance, right? No, there's no fruits in this fragrance, so I don't know what it is that's making the rose sweet and jammy. It could be the honey, but this has iris, coffee. The coffee is not like super loud and prominent in this fragrance whatsoever. Oh my God, it's so sexy. It is so sexy, like honestly, who doesn't like this fragrance? If you do not like Deluxe by Tiziana Terenzi, leave it in the comments below. We need to talk. Like, I need to know who doesn't love this. Um, There's sweet myrrh, there's amber, musk, honey, and cedar wood. Everything, all right? This is everything. I feel like I will always want this in my collection. There's something about Deluxe that when I smell it, I just wanna keep smelling myself. Yes, it is reminiscent to Intense Cafe by Montal, however, it's less intense in the cafe, all right? This is more of a honey and rose, like a sweet fruity rose type scent. There's no fruits listed, but I promise you there has to be some type of fruit in this fragrance. Y'all, it's incredible. It's a masterpiece, lasts long on the skin, compliment getting, perfect for fall and winter, but you can wear it in the spring and summer as well. This is everything, all right? And you can also save 20% on soavantgarde.com using my discount code, thegreat20. Deluxe by Tiziana Terenzi. Next up by BDK, we have Rouge Smoking. Y'all know I love this fragrance, all right? I mean, the proof is in the dent, all right? It's a beautiful, sweet cherry scent, but the cherry is done very different from Lost Cherry and um, Love Fest Burning Cherry and all the other cherry fragrances is out there, okay? Because there's a lot. But it's very different. This to me smells like a root beer float with ice cream and like a cherry on top. Ugh. Y'all, when I tell you, this is just so comforting. Like when I smell this, I just wanna get wrapped up in a blanket. When I smell this, I just wanna put on some nice cozy clothes in the house, curl up on the couch and watch a movie. Any attire, any venue, it's just a well-rounded, versatile scent that I absolutely love. Now, is it like a super groundbreaking, unique fragrance? It is unique in its own right, you know what I mean? But it's not super groundbreaking. Like, you're gonna smell it and you're gonna be like, oh, it's nice, like, it's pleasing. I feel like it's a mass appealing type scent, but very unique, mass appealing niche fragrance. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't smell like a designer scent or anything that you would smell at the Macy's counter or anything like that, but it's an easy to love, easy to wear, easy reach. You smell sweet, you get complimented, men love it. It's just a beautiful fragrance. Rouge Smoking by BDK. All right, y'all, so the last fragrance on today's list is by Killian and it's Love Don't Be Shy. And when I tell you, the sweet is not shy in this fragrance, okay? This right here is a cloying, 
It is a tooth rotting, cavity inducing. Like this right here is so freaking amazing. Like it is so beautiful. Y'all, I'm obsessed. Okay, this is one of my first niche fragrances ever. Like my first niche fragrance collection, it was this. It was Delina Baccarat Rouge 540. Like, and when I smelled this, it was like, where have you been all my life? Like, where have you been all my life? That's the Rihanna song. And I am going to be the 99,000, 100 million, billion person to say that this was Rihanna's signature scent. Okay, I feel like everybody knows this at this point. But I mean, it is what it is because this fragrance right here is super beautiful. Orange blossom, whipped cream, marshmallows, rose, like it's just everything. And this is my original fragrance. So my juice is like literally right here, y'all. It's literally right here. And when I tell you, I nursed this <laughs> because I haven't smelled the new formula. I don't know if it's a new formula. Actually, I think it is a new formulation because the juice is not like this. Like this is like a deep salmon colored juice. This is super thick, super sweet, super dense. I keep saying I'm gonna smell the new one or the one in the um, updated bottle, but I'm scared y'all. I'm just so scared because this right here is like, this is life. Like this is like syrup in a bottle. This is sweet in a bottle. This is everything that you love in a bottle. It's so beautiful, y'all. I love this. I love orange blossom, anything with marshmallows, whipped cream. Like, it's just my scent profile. I love it so much. And it's done perfectly in this fragrance. Did I tell y'all the notes? I'm just like a raven. <laughs> y'all, this has pink pepper. It has coriander, neroli. There's jasmine. There's honeysuckle. There's Bulgarian rose. There's um, caramelized sugar, vanilla, white musk. I mean, listen, there's a lot of notes in this hair fragrance, okay? If you love sweet fragrances, you will absolutely love this. And trust me, the girls who say they do not love sweet fragrances, they love this fragrance. And this is the King Sweet, all right? Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. All right, guys, we've come to the end of the video. Leave it in the comments below and let me know what are some of your favorite sweet fragrances. Are you someone who doesn't love sweet fragrances or did you think you didn't love sweet fragrances, but then you look at your collection like, oh, I have that, I have that. Oh, I, I do love sweet fragrances. Yes, it's okay to love sweet fragrances. You can still be sexy. You can still be that girl wearing sweet fragrances, okay? So leave it in the comments below and let's talk about it like we always do. And if you're interested in this blue earring right here, the Imperial Heart, in cobalt blue let me know leave me some blue hearts and we can talk about it like we always do remember to stay safe be great stay great and always strive for greatness ai the great signing out but i'll see you in my next video peace